you should be familiar with operating three sizes of micropipettes. The P1000 for 100 to 1000 microliter volumes, the P200 for 20 to 200 microliter volumes, and the P10 for 0.5 to 10 microliter volumes. We will demonstrate by petting 625 microliters. Select the appropriate micropipetter for the volume to deliver. For 625 microliters, we will use the P1000. Release the locking lever and rotate the knob until 625 is displayed in the window. Lock the setting. The pipetter has two stops. Understanding this is key to proper usage. Depress to the first stop when aspirating solutions. You will feel resistance at the first stop. Depress to the second stop when dispensing. You will not be able to press any further. With the pipetter correctly set, you are ready to proceed. Each pipetter uses a specific tip size. Select the appropriate tips. Securely attach a tip to the pipetter. A loose tip will leak, but if you jam on a tip, it will be difficult to eject. Depress the plunger to the first stop before placing the tip into the solution. Holding the pipetter vertically, lower the tip into the solution and slowly release thumb pressure to pull solution into the tip. Depress the plunger to the second stop to force all of the solution out of the tip. Press the ejector to release the used tip into the appropriate disposal container. Be sure to recap all bottles. A tip should only be attached immediately before use with the pipetter remaining vertical in your hand. A pipetter should never be placed on the lab table with the tip attached. A box of tips should also never be left open. Remember, depress the plunger only to the first stop when aspirating. Do not make the mistake of going to the second stop. This would cause a larger volume of solution than what is set on the pipetter to be drawn into the tip. The plunger should not be depressed with the tip already in the solution. Doing so will blow bubbles in the solution and can result in air bubbles being drawn into the tip. Release thumb pressure slowly to prevent pulling air bubbles into the tip. Always keep the pipetter vertical. Never hold the pipetter horizontally. Solution in the tip can drain into the pump, contaminating it. Be sure to depress the plunger to the second stop when dispensing. This will ensure that all the solution will be pushed out of the tip. If there is a droplet hanging on the tip, touch it to the side of the test tube to deliver that last microliter. Which automatic micropipetter would be the best choice to most accurately deliver 125 microliters?